Assume the following pattern of dots continues. How many dots are there in A6? How many dots are there in the nth shape AN? We're going to solve this problem by looking at the dots, not by counting the numbers. That's not going to be a good choice. Um, what do I mean by that? Let's write down the first term as one dot. The second term has five dots. The third term has 12 dots. The next term has 16, 17, 18, 19, 22 dots. Now, if you look at these terms, these don't form an arithmetic sequence, they don't form a geometric sequence, it's not a good idea to look at these. It won't be very convenient. It won't. I don't think it'll be very helpful. Many students oftentimes look at these numbers and try to predict the next one, and they, most of the times, uh, the quest is not very fruitful. So I would ask you to look at these dots. Look at the structure of the shapes. So what I have here is I have a square of four by four dots, a square of three by three dots, a square of two by two dots, a square of one by one dot. And then on the top I have a triangle that's like one, two, three, another triangle, one and two, another triangle, one, and you could argue there's a zero dot, so there's, there's no dots or zero dots, however you want to say it. So zero, one, one, two, one, two, three, so on and so forth. So that's what I'm going to predict. That's what I'm going to focus on. This structure. Now a six, the sixth term. I don't have a five. The sixth term to me will have a six by six square here, plus one, two, three, all the way up to five, not six. If it's the fourth term, it stops at three. If it's the third term, it stops at two. If it's the second term, it stops at one. If it's the first term, it stops at zero, the triangular part. So if it's the sixth term, it'll stop at one, two, three, four, five. And the square will be a six by six. We're going to use that concept to answer part A. So what do we have here? Arguing just like we did before, um, we're going to say, we have a triangular part and a square part. From the square part, the sixth term will have a six by six square here. Let's try to draw it here. We'll have a six by six. Thirty-six dot six times six. And on top I'll have one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And that's what I have here. So altogether, how many dots will I have in my sixth term? 36 plus, when you add all these numbers, you get 15. When you add them up, you get 51. So that's the answer to part six. Part B. Now, arguing exactly the same way, the nth term will have an n square in the bottom. This part will be n by n. n squared. And on the top, we'll have a triangle, a triangle with 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to n minus 1, not n n minus 1, it stops at 1 less and you have to keep that straight. So from there I can say that the square error part will be n square and the triangular part will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 dot 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 plus n minus 1 not n. Now we're going to use Gauss's technique to find the sum of these numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n minus 1 and we're going to write the first line as it is and the second line will be the first line in the reverse order and we can easily see that each pair will add up to n because n minus 1 plus 1 is n and n minus 2 plus 2 is also n n minus 1 plus 1 is n n minus 2 plus 2 is n and I have a bunch of n's on my line 3. 
Now note the line 3 is the sum of the first two lines but we are only interested in one line so we are going to add all these up. How many ends do I have in line 3? Originally I have 1, 2, all the way up to n minus n so there are n minus 1 ends and I divided by 2 because n minus 1 times n counts the line twice. I am only interested in one line so I divided by 2. So this part can be simplified to get this. And we're almost done. We're going to do a little bit of algebra on the next slide and we'll get to our answer. So from the previous slide we know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n minus 1 is this. We distribute n and we get n squared minus n over 2. To make the denominator 2, we multiply both top and bottom by 2, which we can. And now we have the same denominator. The top becomes 2n squared plus n squared minus n. And 2n squared plus n squared is 3n squared minus n. That's my answer. The nth term will have 3n squared minus n divided by 2 dots.